Anyway, let's head to the sofa area so we can talk about sponsorships. Let's go! It is I, Fair Maiden, ready to slay dragons and save you from the wraths of the text stealing gods. Ha 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 ha! Help me! Help me! It's going to be a, a little short video today, but the first thing you should do is hit that subscribe button. We're nearly on a hundred thousand. This is my moment, not yours. We're nearly at a hundred thousand subscribers. I feel like I've waited my whole entire life for this moment. Anywho, as you guys may may or may not know, um, I have been like semi poorly, semi recovering, hence. I've just, I've been tired. Anyway, so this might be a bit of a chilled out video. We're going to unbox some new tech items that I've been sent. And also we're gonna talk sponsorships at the end of this. Those of you who are getting into YouTube, getting into Twitch, getting into the Instagram life, and want to find out how to approach people, how to get sponsors, I'm here to do a little bit of helping. There'll be a full video in the future. But however, today I'm just gonna give you like a quick five minutes of information at the end of the video. Anyway, let's get let's get down to the meat and the potato. Um, the first thing I've got to show you in my very professional setup is something that the gods sent me. Absolutely chef's kiss. Look at the box, look at the box. And this was from PlayStation, um, thank you. I appreciate you and also you Timothy. So I have got the two PlayStation controls in this box. The two new ones, we have got the, we've got the Cosmic Red and the Midnight Black and they are both absolutely stunning. I've not opened them yet, I saved the moment for you guys because I want to make this moment last forever because it's something quite sensual and I feel like we should all be involved. So we've got the Midnight Black, the Midnight Black and the Cosmic Red. So the first one is the Cosmic Red and the second one, <sighs> Midnight Black. Can we just talk about this box that it uh, came in because Jesus, have you ever seen something so beautiful in your entire life? I don't think so. The first one we're going to be unboxing is indeedly the Cosmic Red. So this is the box. This comes in a plain box like this. They open up like a sandwich pack. You would expect there to be sushi or some type of food in here, but there's not. There is the PlayStation 5 control. Wow. Wow. It's kind of a little bit pinky, I would say. It's, I don't feel like I need to explain much to you about the PlayStation 5 control. It's got the uh, haptic triggers. It's got the haptic triggers, the L1 and the R1 on the top. You've got the charging port. You've got the headphone port um, facing you. Also, as we all know, the control works as a mic and you can mute it at the front. You've got the PlayStation button also at the front, which as you can see when you press it, turns the control on. Also actually a, a slightly textured effect. It's not too textured, you can only feel it if you intensify your sensors, but it is there and it does help. Um, I'd like to also tell you if you want to change the plate, it's very, very easily done. I did it in a vlog. I made my white ones pink. It took me two seconds. If I can do it, a potato can do it. The next one is the Cosmic, Cosmic Black? No. <gasps> Why am I making things up today? The next thing is the Midnight Black. And I wasn't, I didn't think I was gonna be like heavily into this one, but I've seen it on Twitter and damn, homie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's stunning. He is stunning. Look. Again, everything is exactly the same as the Cosmic Red. Everything's in the same places, of course. It's simply a PlayStation 5 control. And in comparison to the Midnight Black, they actually work beautifully together. 
have you seen anything so stunning in your entire life? They're like Oreos and milk, they both complement each other amazingly. And can I just say, in terms of comfort, the PlayStation 5 control, I have zero complaints in terms of when I'm playing a game for long. The only um, thing for me is that I, I have quite weak fingers, so sometimes when I'm playing shooty duty games, um, I will turn off the haptic triggers, however, every single other game such as Ratchet and Clank, oh, such a good game, oh, haptic triggers and the haptic feedback are, are you alright? Are, are you okay? I think he's alright. Haptic triggers are absolutely incredible and they are one of the reasons why I am in love with the PlayStation 5. Okay, on to the other things. I'm going to come over here to talk to you about it. It is the Elgato Multi-Mount. Now, I have 110% faith in this item. Um, however, I'm going to tell you a bit about it. It is the Elgato Multi-Mount. You have the actual mount that clips to your table and then you also have the flex on that helps with all the different angles, those over the head, top down shots which are vital for content across all platforms, Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. It's just gonna help elevate your content in every single way. I would definitely suggest picking up the flex arm if you're going to get the multi mount as well. I'm gonna go have a play with it and then come back and let you know what I think. Okay, so okay, it moves around very, very nicely. It's amazing quality. It's sturdy, of course. Of course, what do you expect from Elga Toe? And it took me about two minutes to set up. It was that easy. The flex arm attached to the multi mount with ease. And this is what's going to add those extra angles, those amazing top down overhead shots. For me personally, it's going to be great for unboxing videos, a second camera on Twitch, as well as the main camera on Twitch for different angles and, and more diverse surroundings. TikTok, Insta, selfies. And also amazing for me for my mic, but podcasters, it's a need must. And it moves around super easily. It doesn't need any WD-40. It's perfect. You can easily add and remove the pieces from the flex arm and just use it for any way that you see fit. I can already tell it's going to be one of my favourite parts of my kit. Super cost effective as well, which is... It's going to help elevate my content and bring it to that next level. It's little things like different angles and just the ease of doing things that can really just make everything a lot better in terms of the way you view my content and just the terms of the way I view my content. Anyway, on to the next items. Um, I have got some items from Razor. We're going to start with getting a knife. That would be a great start. Come on, and but like me. Oh. It is I, fair maiden, ready to slay dragons and save you from the wraths of the text stealing gods. Ha 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 ha! Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so I've got like a few little things to show you from Razor. They have kindly sent me shout outs to my buddies over there. We have got, so you guys know, when I stream, I wear these spec two doodles and um, I haven't got any tech talking to me glasses like these. So I've not yet opened them. We have the Razor Anzu, I think it's how you pronounce the name, um, smart glasses. So these, these, basically you don't need friends once you've got these glasses. They have a built-in mic and speakers. Touch enabled voice assistant. Your glasses, you can talk to them. Friendships, you don't need them. They are also water resistant, um, low latency audio, blue light filtering lenses, and more than five hours battery life. Shall we take a look? These are my first impressions. I will be using them in vlogs, in my videos, and just letting you guys know how they are in general. They come with this amazing case. I think I have got the large ones because I don't know, I just feel cooler when wearing a wear of bigger glasses, I guess. Nodule inside. The case has the charging part of the glasses in too. And in here are the changeable lenses. They honestly just pop out super, super easy. One. Okay, 
between me, you and Timothy, I actually want to look cool when I wear glasses and I, I can't see myself right now. So you tell me, do these suit me? Or not? <laughs> Let me have a look in the mirror, hold on. I like them. In terms of style and design, I actually think these are very, very, very cool. Hello, I am your, hello, I am your teacher for today. I can't teach you much, but I can teach you how to live your life freely and not give a shite and talk. <laughs> they also come with a quick guide, which is very sleekly hidden in the bottom of the actual box. And I just think, oh, also to clean them, I'm gonna need these because I'm very messy. I'm a filthy, filthy, filthy animal sometimes when it comes to eating my food and touching everything around me. There is a lot that you can do with these and I'm so excited to get into grips with them. You can you can answer calls and end calls but with just a quick touch like this. I can't actually show you how it's working right now because no one calls me in ever. Reject calls, activate virtual assistant, skip to the next track, play a track, enable and disable gaming mode. In terms of connecting, it's super easy as you can see at the bottom. All I've had to do is hold the sides and you click razor and zoom smart glasses. We are now connected and they just told me we're connected so my glasses are just connected to my phone with a click of a finger and what i always like about razor products is that you can connect so quick that it's not awkward it's not finicky it's not annoying so basically right now i can hear the tapping of everything i can hear the sound in my glasses like virtually in my ears um if i play a song on spotify um, it's actually connected to my uh, Anzu glasses and wait. <laughs> yes! Incredible. Also, someone's ringing me. Right now, I'm going to answer it. Hi, I'm just talking to you on my razor glasses. Incredible. Honestly, you just seen me set these up within a second, a second, and they work amazing. I, I am actually so impressed. I didn't think I would be this impressed. I'm excited about those, very excited. I love technology. The next things we have got are two razor sets of headphones. We have got the Hammerheads, I, Hammerheads Pro. Can't open the box. <laughs> Timothy, help me. Do you fancy helping me? Because, uh, no? Okay, mate. Oh, God, I haven't got... Okay. Ooh, okay, inside. Beautiful packaging, of course. It smells... It smells great, actually. Okay, so they come in these... Oh, the, the little... So they come in this really nice little case, to be fair. It feels nice, feels good quality. Um, I pretty much know how to connect them. Put them in your ears. They look like this. I think I actually really like the black because um, it will go with more of my daily, daily outfits. Okay, so let me just connect them and see. Okay, they literally turn up straight away, just like that at the bottom. I'm not sure if you can see. Okay, I'm gonna press connect. Five, four, they've connected. Okay, play. Wow! Wow! I'm very impressed. Incredible, absolutely incredible. The song that I was just listening to was a Latin song, but it had like bass in it, like it was basic. Really good quality, clear, crisp, no um, blips in the audio. And I feel like with some headphones that I've got, like the um, Pixel Pods, they have like cutouts in the audio all the time through both of the headphones. However, these at the minute blow any headphones that I've currently been using out of the water um, in terms of like day to day life usage. Obviously I go to the gym, I'm out about in terms of like shopping, getting food, living, walking the dogs. And these are 
great. A great thing to have in terms of your day-to-day -day life. Uh, okay, so in terms of the specs of the in-ear, we've got a 6ms low latency connection, touch enabled controls, pause, play, reject call, and busy. Water resistance, noise cancellation, and quick attention mode so you can actually know what's going on around you because sometimes walking with headphones right in your ears can be super, super dangerous because you don't know who's about but being a creepy creeper. Okay, so next ones we have got, ooh, okay, Razor, I see you. Tom, in this little, little uh, Razor head, headphone case, box again, beautiful. It's so beautiful. Um, I know how to use them, so I don't need to read the instructions. Very, 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 sleek design they look really good um oh okay wow <laughs> they're incredibly stretchy so if you've got a big spongebob blockhead like you're you're fine um in terms of comfort hold on they are nice i have got other razor headphones that i use um I've got the Razer Kitty Edition and um, wireless headphones that are also comfortable. I'm trying to work out if the other ones are as comfortable. I think the other ones have a bit more plush, but again, um, for day to day life, you don't want too much, <laughs> too much, <laughs> like in your face, obnoxious looking headphones. Well, I do, but that's me. <laughs> so, yeah, this is how they look on. Um, and now, time to pair them. I'm hoping it's as easy as it was before and they just show up, but I'm not sure if they will. The on button would be the correct thing to use. Okay, they come up straight away, Razor Opus. There is better editions too, but if you're trying to be, if you're trying to be on the budget and you want to go for that, the lower, um, the older edition ones, I'm going to know if these are worth it or not. I'm going to be honest about it too. So, settings, Spotify. Hello, hello. I'm just testing if I can hear my own voice. Re these are really, really nice. However, however, if you had to pick between the Hammerhead True Wireless and the and the Opus headset older edition, I would honestly, um, personally go for the more sleek design and in ear, as these did feel louder. <laughs> I am impressed. So. When the song stops, you take them off your head and, and the song stops in your headphones. So, so, so I kept my song on because the song is currently playing. I take my headphones off and it pauses. I put them on and they play again. So if someone comes up to you for a second, yeah, 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 mate, you can, you can borrow my spatula, don't worry. You put them back on and they're playing, okay, incredible. If you leave them for like a couple of seconds more, they will just stop altogether because they're, they're assumed that your song has stopped. But that is an incredible design that I have never known before in with headphones. So yeah, as it says, auto-play, auto-pause, portable design, basically they're sleek, sleeve, streamlined. Look at them, they're, they're small and beautiful. And extremely, extremely comfortable. So that is everything that I received today. I am over the moon with everything. Everything is perfect. I wasn't expecting to be this happy and impressed with everything. Because you know, you gotta set your expectations low so you don't get disappointed. <laughs> it's a Anyway, let's head to the sofa area so we can talk about sponsorships. Let's go! Okay, so sponsorships. Pablo, everybody, I present the king of the house. A lot of people ask me the best way to gain a sponsorship or gifted items from brand. Okay, so I would suggest um, for any content creator, if you're looking for like gifted or even sponsorship payment, you've got to make sure that the brand know you exist. So if you are wearing, for instance, a set of Razer headsets and you love their stuff, what's the harm in tagging them in everything you post? So if you post a picture on Instagram, tag them. You post a picture on Twitter, tag them. Also, another thing is to find out who their 
a guest community manager is, who their PR person is, and make yourself known. Send them a media deck, show them what you're doing. They're not gonna just find you in a world of millions of content creators doing something sim similar to you. So the best thing is, is to tag them in pictures, tag them in posts, approach them via email with uh, a media kit. So make yourself a media kit. Show them your numbers, or if you're a new creator who hasn't um, been able to build the platform just yet, show them what you're doing and tell them why you love their product so much. That's the best thing to do to get their initial attention. You can also, in terms of Instagram homies, if you are an Instagram uh, person like myself, what you can do is go to their page, tag them, comment, message them the amount of companies that i had messaged like oh my gosh i love your stuff i would love to collaborate with you and it's worked it's really worked whether that's um in a sense of sponsorship or gifted it's worked and it worked before i i you know built or momentum on my platforms too so don't let like numbers get you down it's a process and if you carry on doing what you're doing you will grow and you'll be able to work with the brands that you love but for me personally the best thing to do is make yourself known to the brands even if you um don't get what you're looking for that you're now on their radar you're now made you're, you're now known to them and they'll be keeping an eye on what you're doing and then you can approach them again in a year's time there is so many brands that i still would love to work with and there were so many brands back in the day that would kind of just I'll send them an email and they'll say, oh, we, we can't really work with you right now because you're not just there yet. And that's completely fine. I don't expect brands to be like, oh, we love you um, straight away. You kind of have to grow on some brands and you kind of have to make yourself known to them. And if, if you love their stuff, if you purchase their stuff, tag them, make it known, rave about how good their products are on Twitter, tag them, just put yourself out there. If that's the best advice that I can give you in terms of how to gain sponsorships. I've had a few um, amazing sponsorships and a few not too great sponsorships. And then there's a few brands that I would work with forever. And there's also brands that I would probably avoid working with. And it all comes with learning and developing as a content creator. So um, I'm going to be doing a three part series, how to go full time content creation, what I did, the process, and also working with brands, my experiences with brands. And also the second part will be things that you don't expect to happen when you go full time. There's so many things that I wanna to talk to you guys about in that video. And the third thing will be all about you doing these. If you've got any questions in terms of content creation or anything like that, leave it in the comments, hit me up on Twitter, and ask me on Insta if I can get my through my DMs. And, and I will include your questions in the third part of this three-part YouTube content creation, content creation building series. Um, I will be covering Twitch, YouTube, and Instagram, um, Twitter, TikTok, because I'm everywhere. Like, I'm all over these platforms. Anyway, um, I will love you and leave you. Please, guys, check out my fan house. It's indeed safe for work. Um, it's like a fin Instagram and also my Patreon, which I post my little cosplay sets, which are quite cute if you ask me. <laughs> and I will see you guys in a, probably a few days. I'm trying to just bash my videos out. To be honest. I got so many videos in the backlog that I filmed last month that I didn't put out this month because I am lame. Uh, and, but anyway, I'll see you in a few days and we can't leave without a da -da 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 cyber hugs. Mmm, lovely.